Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components, and today our topic of discussion will be Piper Retractable Aircraft and Piper Service Bolton 1161 pertaining to the landing gear area of the Piper Retractables. The Piper PA-28R series and the Piper PA-32R series are similar uh, in construction, so this will apply to both of those, as well as the PA-44 Seminole twin-engine aircraft as well. For demonstration purposes here today, we have a left-hand Piper Arrow wing. This end would be the butt end of the wing against the fuselage, continuing to the outboard end of the wing here, fuel tank, and leading edge segment of this wing. The landing gear of the retractable Piper aircraft is located in the aft portion of the wing at the inboard section of the wing, uh, immediately behind the fuel tank area uh, in this uh, inboard aft section right here. On the retractable pipers, the landing gear area situated here, just ahead of the flap, just behind the fuel tank. You can uh, easily identify this area with the double row of rivets at the inboard rib, the double row of rivets at the outboard rib, and the double row of rivets along the auxiliary spar. The retractable pipers are prone to damage in the landing gear area anytime they suffer a hard landing, any type of rearward impact, uh, potholes, runway edges, things like that, uh, it will start to deform the landing gear area. You can see on this particular wing, these rivets are popped, they are deformed, the skin is starting to push up. This is where the landing gear is actually starting to break loose and start to protrude through the upper portion of the wing. For demonstration purposes today, we have a wing that we've already drilled the rivets of the upper skin. Again, you can see your outer, inner rivet lines, your auxiliary spar lines, and we'll remove the skin from the wing structure to show the skeleton of the interior of the wing. With the upper skin removed, you can see the interior structure of the retractable piper, your outer rib, your inner rib, your auxiliary spar, and your wheel well area here. The landing gear would attach here at this portion of the gear well. The landing gear would retract up into the aircraft here. You're looking at it from the upper side of the wing, but you can see how uh, with the skin removed, with the landing gear removed, you can see what the interior structure of the wing uh, looks like. You can see on this outer rib here, this is where the forward trunnion would be attached for the landing gear attachment. This rib right here, you can see as a result of a hard landing, this rib has started to pull away from the spar on the flange, and then also you have deformation on the rib itself. On this auxiliary spar, we have some deformation on the lower cap as well. On the inner rib of the wing, you can see the cracking that has occurred here on the flange of the rib as well. This is what Piper Service Bolt in 1161 uh, deals with, uh, looking for cracks behind this trunnion block here. But you can see this has been cracked out and actually torn away due to hard landing, but just normal wear and tear on Piper retractables will cause cracking in this flange area as well.